Sharon Stone is an actress and former model, producer. For her services in the field of art, she received the title of a Cavalier Lady of the French Order of Arts and Literature. The popularity of the actress was brought by the erotic thriller Basic Instinct by Paul Verhoeven. The video of the interrogation scene with the shifting of the legs of the heroine Stone remains popular years after the premiere of the film. New voiceovers and reshoots of this moment regularly appear on the internet. Childhood and Youth Sharon Von Stone was born on March 10, 1958 in the Pennsylvania city of Meadville in the family of a worker and a housewife. They had four children in total. Parents paid a lot of attention to Sharon's studies. According to the star, Stone grew up a reserved girl who was more interested in books than physical development. In her youth, she struggled with shyness, arranging theatrical performances in the garage. The rising gate served as a curtain. In addition to books and theatre, there was another passion in the life of young Sharon, it was horses. Once the girl even earned a scar while riding. Sharon unsuccessfully hooked the rope, which left a mark on her neck. It was before graduation. Sharon Stone is the owner of not only a seductive appearance, but also a high IQ, he is 154. She graduated from high school earlier and entered the university for the Department of Fiction. At the age of 17, the future actress worked part-time at McDonald's, from where she left after receiving a contract with Ford's modeling agency. In her youth, Sharon lived in Paris and Milan. The beauty's appearance produced the proper effect, so the girl was actively filmed for magazine covers and in advertising. Films Deciding that her modeling career was over, Stone moved to New York. In 1980, Sharon made her debut in Woody Allen's film Stardust Memories. It was a great success to star in the project of a famous director, but the role was too small to entail others. During this period of Sharon Stone's creative biography, she mainly starred in episodes of TV series. The actress believed that her appearance had become an obstacle to career development. Stone was in limbo for a long time until the breakthrough happened. The actress was approved for a role in the cult film Total Recall. Sharon played the wife of Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. According to the actress, a colleague taught her to keep herself in the frame and take physical fitness seriously. Sharon was called again and again to play the girlfriends of Steven Seagal's heroes in the movie Above the Law, Sylvester Stallone in the movie The Specialist and others. But she wanted more offers, not wanting to return to the middle level. The actress plans to become a star of the first echelon. And then Sharon starred nude for Playboy magazine. The naked nature caused so many responses that Paul Verhoeven immediately called her to his film Basic Instinct. Working at Basic Instinct in 1992 brought Sharon Stone real fame and recognition. The heroine of an actress is not an appendix to a strong hero, it is the main role. Her character, the writer Catherine, turns out to be the main suspect in the murder of a rock star. Detective Nick is investigating. A love affair ensues between the main characters. The uninhibited image at the casting stage scared off such performers as Julia Roberts, Meg Ryan and Michelle Pfeiffer. Sharon considered the role her chance and was not mistaken. For her film work, she received two MTV Film Awards as the Best Actress and the Most Desirable Woman. In the film Sliver and Intersection, the actress sought to get away from the role of a sexy femme fatale killer. In the film Sliver about the tragic events in a New York skyscraper, her character is the embodiment of femininity, softness, the type of woman who is easy to meet in everyday life. But the projects are not succeeding. Intersection brought Sharon the Golden Raspberry Anti Award as the worst actress of the year. Soon Stone starred in the western The Quick and the Dead, where Lance Henriksen, Leonardo DiCaprio, Russell Crowe also played. On the set, the actress rode a lot, drank beer in the evenings and wore comfortable clothes. But the box office brought Stone to the idea that she chooses the wrong roles, although she finds something for herself in each one. The role in Martin Scorsese's movie Casino finally hits the bullseye. The director praises the actress, telling the press that Stone gave herself completely to work. In the picture, Sharon had to wear a heavy gold dress, but the actress was still delighted with the filming. For her acting work in Casino, she received a Golden Globe and was nominated for an Oscar. Soon the actress tried herself in the genre of comedy. She got the main role in the movie The Muse. An unencumbered story allowed another Hollywood beauty, the burning brunette Andy McDowell, 
to shine in a new role. Since the beginning of the 2000 seconds, after suffering from an illness, the actress began to struggle desperately with the manifestations of age. But Sharon is ready to approach this issue with a bit of humor. She played the role of an aging businesswoman, ready to commit a crime for the sake of a life-giving remedy, in the Catwoman project. For the elixir of youth, the heroine Stone had to fight with the character of Hal Berry. Of the subsequent works in the filmography of the star, the picture God's Behaving Badly stands out, where Stone appeared in the role of Aphrodite. In 2015, Sharon played the Vice President of the United States in the TV series Agent X. Critics gave mixed reviews for the series, calling the screen star one of the few advantages of this show. In May 2017, the premiere of the romantic comedy A Little Something for Your Birthday, in which Sharon played the main role, took place. On the red carpet of the special screening of the film, she appeared in the company of her sons. Stone shared photos with her children on her Instagram page. Increasingly, the Hollywood star can be found in TV series. In 2018, Sharon appeared in the main cast of the multi-part crime thriller Mosaic. And in 2019, she starred in the next season of the black comedy Better Things, which has been released since 2016 on the FX channel. A high-profile project in the repertoire of the star was the TV series The New Pope, in which the main characters were performed by Jude Law and John Malkovich. The picture again tickled the nerves of the representatives of the Vatican in the new series, as in The Young Pope, it was about the inner life of the Catholic Church and its hierarchs. The sensational project in which Stone starred was the thriller Wretched. Based on the novel Flying Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Sharon appeared in front of the camera in the image of a wealthy lady who is driven by revenge on the chief psychiatrist of the clinic for experiments on her son. The project directed by Ryan Murphy, author of American Horror Story, was presented on the Netflix service. Appearance, style and health status. Periodically, the image of the actress undergoes changes. She changed her usual square to a short haircut for a boy. Fans enthusiastically accepted the new image of the screen star, besides noting that the actress with a new hairstyle began to look 20 years younger. And fans also found similarities in appearance between the actress and pop diva Madonna. For a long time, Stone complained of headaches. As a result, doctors discovered that she had a brain aneurysm. In 2001, Sharon suffered a stroke and clinical death. According to the performer, during the crisis she experienced an esoteric shock, communication with deceased relatives, flying through a tunnel. To stabilize the artist's health, 22 platinum spirals were inserted into the vessels of the brain. Since then, the actress has completely given up smoking and alcohol. She also suffers from asthma and diabetes. The disease has radically affected the artist's career and her self-esteem. According to the star, she had to learn to speak again, after which the crisis of age acceptance began. Sharon was very worried that she was losing the status of the first beauty of Hollywood. According to the performer, she managed to stop aging thanks to sports and dietary nutrition. I had to resort to injections of hyaluronic acid and fillers. Due to a stroke, one side of the celebrity's face literally sank. To restore symmetry, she had to resort to 300 injections. Today, only high-quality anti-wrinkle creams are in the star's cosmetic bag. In addition, in everyday life, Stone prefers to use a minimum of makeup, which helps to keep the skin of the face young. Thanks to Pilate's classes, the actress manages to maintain her figure in perfect condition. The artist assures that now she does not particularly follow the diet, only from time to time using a potato diet. Herbal tea has been a favorite drink of the film star for many years. Over time, the similarity of the star of Basic Instinct and another atomic blonde of Hollywood Charlize Theron becomes more and more. Both actresses are distinguished by their bright talent and taste. Sometimes the desire to match the fashion trends of the season leads to the fact that at special events attended by both performers, they are almost impossible to distinguish. This happened at the Grammy ceremony party, at which both Stone and Theron appeared in black mesh dresses worn over matching bodysuits. Personal Life From 1984 to 1987, Sharon was married to Michael Greenberg, a screenwriter and producer. At that time, she was just starting her career as an actress. In 1993, Stone was engaged to William J. MacDonald, the producer of Sliver, but they broke off the engagement a year later. 
From 1998 to 2004, Sharon's marriage with Phil Bronstein lasted. The actress husband worked as a war correspondent for a while, then took up the post of editor of the San Francisco Chronicle newspaper. Due to health problems, Sharon suffered two miscarriages. But she wanted a real family together with her husband. They adopted a child. In 2004, the couple broke up. After the divorce, the actress adopted two more boys. Despite the status of a free woman, Sharon rarely remains without the attention of men. In 2013, the actress dated model Martin Mika. The novel ended after a year. The personal life of a celebrity has changed with the appearance of actor David DeLuise, the performer of the central role in the series Wizards of Waverly Place. Their relationship also proved to be short-lived. At the end of 2016, the press started talking about the actress' new novel. Sharon Stone was caught in the lens of paparazzi cameras along with sports agent Lonnie Cooper. Sharon and Lonnie walked together, swam in the ocean and hugged, creating the impression of a happy couple. Representatives of the actress did not comment on these photos and Sharon did not officially declare a new novel. In 2018, she was conquered by 41-year-old businessman from Italy Angelo Baffa. But the lovers did not walk the streets of Rome for long, just a year later, the Nobel Prize nominee, 50-year-old Italian journalist and environmental activist Enzo Curcio, was already among the favorites of the star of Basic Instinct. The actress is credited with an affair with rapper Aramar. In 2021, the Hollywood star was repeatedly noticed with a popular performer among young people in public places in Los Angeles, including at hip-hop concert venues. Stone herself did not comment on the information, but in Instagram the musician periodically left likes under the artist's posts. Sharon reciprocated him. It is curious that a little later the star told about parting with a certain young chosen one. Moreover, it was her partner who made the decision to disperse after he learned that the actress was not going to resort to any rejuvenating procedures. Journalists suggested that it was just about a rap artist. Sharon Stone now. In the summer of 2022, the film Beauty was released on the Netflix platform, which caused mixed reviews from both critics and the public. Judging by the plot, the script was inspired by the biography of singer Whitney Houston. The main character of the picture, which, by the way, did not claim to be a biopic, was played by Gracie Mary Bradley. But the character Stone, the head of her record company, could remind many of Clive Davis from Arista Records, who helped Whitney achieve world fame. In the fall, Sharon told about the disease. According to the celebrity, the doctor found a tumor in her, prescribing appropriate treatment. When it did not help, the actress turned to another specialist, and it turned out that the tumor was benign. It took several weeks to put the state of health in order. Mm -hmm.